Hello to the gamers, we are back. I want to apologize, there should have been more regular Super Auto Pets in the last few days. But I got some kind of foodborne illness. Also, am I tinier than normal? Like, irrespective of the effects of food poisoning, I kind of felt, I like to project a big frame into the camera, you know? Like, don't mess with me. Meanwhile, I'm... 5'10", 171, so it's all, it's kind of like an optical illusion, but if you don't, you're like, whoa, he's been working his delts lately, huh? Hey, NL, you've been working out? Yeah, yeah. Nope, nope, yeah, yeah, I've been working, yeah, I've been working out a little bit, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a, let's not go there. Um... The world's still not ready for Kanye West references, as they should not be, for the record. Now, I don't know what we're doing this weekly, but yes, I came down with some form of gastroenteritis, norovirus addled, foodborne illness, et cetera, et cetera. I was pretty messed up Saturday and Sunday um, to the point where I... When I was younger and people would say something like this, I'm like, you're exaggerating. But on Saturday, I literally could not deal with the thought of like standing up, walking down a flight of stairs and sitting down on my computer. I, I had to lay down for like almost the whole day. So I might be dying, I don't know, but I feel better now. I do feel better now, but I don't want either of these. I want this. Me when I get Salmonella and Campylobacter from the food store, mm, I don't want either of these. <laughs> I can't send it back, huh? Hmm, that's a shame. So I don't really know what I'm doing this weekly, to be honest, but we're gonna figure it out together. I like this. I do know, I do know that this weekly does have bisons, which is nice to know because it means that you are not necessarily going to get a dead end if you follow this, uh, Possum all the way to level three. Now this did not go well. We were on three life zero wins, but one more possum into a bison. One more possum into a bison, a duck into a bison. It's not good. It's not a good place to be. Call me crazy. And if you're crazy, don't call me at all. And especially do not leave a voicemail because I will not be checking it. How did we mess up so much as a society, by the way? Have you ever thought about the fact that almost every single method of communication now is so completely overrun by spam and scams and unsolicited sales material and stuff like that, that it's almost all completely unusable? Like, let's go over them real quick. You're like, please no, talk about Super Auto Pets. Listen, brother, I got a draw. I'm not sweating it. We're obviously on the, on the up and up here. Mail. The Post. An incredible uh, triumph of modern society that the Postal Service exists to begin with. And I guess that the mail carriers are doing a good job too. Big ups to Jimmy Tamborello and Ben Gibbard, okay? This is a little millennial music joke for you. Um... Very important stuff gets sent through the mail. Tax-related stuff, city-related stuff. But then 99.9% .9 of the mail you get is uh, a flyer from Canadian Tire telling you like flashlights are on sale this weekend. I do not care. Or getting uh, coupons for restaurants that don't even really exist in your neighborhood. What am I gonna do with that? The phone, perhaps the most cooked of all, uh, the Number of phone calls that I get, the percentage of phone calls I get that are spam related, and they don't even have the good manners these days to have a real human being hit you with the spam call. It used to be someone at a call center had to program that. Now they got robots doing it. They're even taking jobs away from the spam callers, man. It's getting crazy out here. This is what we want to see. And then we put you out there next round. Um, such a high proportion of phone calls received these days are scams or spam that everybody knows not to even call you on the telephone without texting you first. That is a sign that 
this medium is completely cooked. Nobody really wants to talk on the phone to begin with. Like, it's kind of crazy to me whenever you... I, and I lived through it, too. You kind of think back. It was like a privilege to phone somewhere instead of having to go there. Like, people were actually excited to do their banking over the phone. I'm like, that sounds so stressful to me. Are you crazy? I'd rather just drive down to the branch. I don't care if it's an hour and a half away. <laughs> Not authorizing some kind of payment like that over my phone. But then, like, every voicemail I get is from a robot that's just, like, literally speaking a different language, trying to steal my social insurance number. Weirdly enough, email has become the last bastion, even though it was, like, Spam City in the 2000s. Because at least, like, almost none of the correspondence I get on email matters at all. But at least it's all stuff that I understand why I'm getting it. You're going to be horrible for a minute, but then you're going to pop. Like, I'm never like, oh, why do I have eight emails in the last two days from Indochino? And I'm like, oh, because I gave him my email when I bought that suit seven years ago. Of course, that was stupid of me. That's why whenever you buy anything and the cashier says, can we have your email address? We don't have one on file. You just say, no, that'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just buying some fabric. We don't need to bring paper into it. We don't need to bring email addresses and stuff like that into it. It's not necessary. I love this for me. I love this for you. I love this for me. Roll me once. Unfreeze everything but the ostrich. Okay, don't kill me yet. This run, it's only round 10. It has a chance. The ostrich can pop. I'm not saying we're getting to 10, but it doesn't. Oh my God, we're going to die already. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes. We're still alive. Freeze me, freeze me, freeze me. Give me some freaking chocolate, bro. It's not, that's as good, that's organic chocolate as far as I'm concerned. Unfreeze me. This ostrich is going to the freaking moon. The bison needs a little bit more time to get to the moon. It's 6,000 Earths away. Oh my God, their hippo is so freaking strong. It's not strong enough, thank you, Lynx. Maybe there is a chance. Very nice. This, I, if anything, I would start building the idea of a second ostrich once this Lynx hits the next level. I don't think anybody needs a one-up, unfortunately. It would have been a, a, a very timely purchase. I know that's a lot of rolls, but I have a plan. It's just, there's no reason to get this ostrich to level three. It's gonna max out too fast. A second one to level one would be more valuable. Hang on, we're digging ourselves out of the hole that we dug ourselves into. This is very nice, okay? But I need a lynx or chocolate. Come on. It's just a lynx or chocolate, bro. It's no big deal. <laughs> it's just a lynx <laughs> or some chocolate. Why'd you have to make everything so complicated? I think we'll leave it like this. I, I don't know how much longer I can afford not having a second level two ostrich out there. I think we might just have to shoot for the moon. Level three walrus, you piece of junk, you piece of junk. You princes of Maine, you kings of New England. Of course, the walrus is the great equalizer. Okay, that's all right. We, we... At the point where we bought the ostrich, ooh, Lord of the Streamers. At the point in where we bought the ostrich, we would not have expected us to do as well as we did from that point onwards. So I consider that a failure, but less of a failure than it could have been, which in its own way, imitates success. Plus I'm sick, you can't criticize me. Well, well, well. The best to ever do it, huh? I like the sounds of that. How about this? And one of these. How about that? All of a sudden, I'm feeling like I am the danger, Skyler. Never mind. McRotzer, you are the danger. No danger there. 
Mm. Modicum of Danger. My favorite uh, Daniel Craig, James Bond movie. Daniel Craig and the Modicum of Danger. He's mildly allergic to stone fruits, but ordered the peach cobbler anyway because he has his inhaler. James Bond and the Modicum of Danger. He's only, listen, he's only mildly allergic to the stone fruits, okay? Bison. And then give me another freaking bison. They didn't, but I appreciate it nonetheless. I think you gotta get out of here so that the orangutan can start some scaling. Mission failed. You should never purchase an orangutan, ten, 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 ten. You ought to know by now. If you just sit on round five with ten gold, is that all you'd get for your money? You know what I'm saying? And it seems like it's not a waste of time because we just got another bison. That one's for you, Billy Joel. Oh, good, we buffed the fish too. Takes a little while for the old banter circuits to turn back on after a weekend of watching the Home Alone films as well. So just, just work with me here. Cut me some slack, give me some time. Mosasaurus synergizes with toys. You know, we do have distributed foods. I'm a big believer that the fox is not actually that good. Also, there's no foods in the shop anymore, but at least I got a little buff. Um, I don't think the fox is as good as I originally thought that it was, but I think it's, I think you could do worse, let's put it that way. Plus, we're, we're coming from a position of strength, so why not? Salt would go okay for you, and you always buy the rightmost food. Okay, we don't want you to take a pill. Hippo could be good, but let's, let's be a little bit more creative. And just being honest with you, not a big... Not a big believer in a lot of these units. Sure, take some salt. If you're gonna take salt, you probably should move up, but it is what it is. Freaking whale shark, bro. What the heck is the greatest silk moth of all time? I thought that thing was supposed to be useless from like round four and beyond. I'm gonna level you even though you could have eaten it for free, because what do you, you double the effects of it? That's pretty tempting, brother. And then I could get a lionfish popping like crazy. Still good. Sure. You're, you're gonna steal this, double its effects. It sucks that we're still saddled with the, the possum. But let's not forget what the possum's done for us, okay? We don't have to be rude to the possum. I think this has a potential 10-piece in the making. Certainly not guaranteed, but potential. This is important. You're also like an insanely great unit. You don't scale off yourself because it says friend. Otherwise, I would put the walrus... We probably should anyway put the walrus out here in a heartbeat, but... So let's see your food. It's not the food I'm looking for, brother. I guess a lollipop's not really that bad. But I think we want to get... The, uh, eggplant's fine, too. We should have been careful about the reroll because the fox could have stolen a pill. Eggplant's not as good as the salt, but it, it, it could have been worse. That doesn't excuse it, but it could have been worse. Huge. Huge. We'll take that. It is what it is. Okay, it's important to get the walrus out of here because it's like the most important unit for us moving forward. No one-up, please. We want a scaling food. This is a scaling food. Want to see... Really, one of the things that would be nicest to see is a level three fox, a means to a level three fox so we can sell our possum to get a better unit out there. This is bad. <laughs> 2023, nearly 2024. The hippo's still out here terrorizing us. This is good enough. Chocolate? Chocolate? Lionfish also pretty good. 
Buff the lionfish. Buff the lionfish. Buff the lionfish. Appreciate it. It's still only two attack, but we appreciate it nonetheless. That went insanely well. How am I only on five wins? I'm going to get my butt kicked this week, man. Level three fox. Come on. Next time. Next time. Level three fox. Oh, it's crazy. I don't want you to get a pita. If you got to hold a salad, you got to hold a salad. I know it's not amazing, but I was worried about the, the possibility of the fox getting a pill and ruining my life and my mental health. <laughs> I did what I had to do, okay? We're on one life. We're getting our butt kicked. So now I can sell you. Sell me. Buy me. Buy me. And then don't roll into a pill. Holy cow, I would have lost my mind. <laughs> Let's try this. Yeah, yeah, lionfish position four. That makes a lot of sense. But the fox, the double damage potential up at the front is pretty nice. Oh, no, 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 no. You got to hit your lads on that one. You got to hit your lads. We died to the porcupine with the one-up, bro. Do you know how sad that is for me? Roll me. So it's not a great start this week. For me. I'll be like a vivid... I'll be a fictive poser. Like um, Holden Caulfield from The Catcher in the Rye. I've never read it. I have read the Wikipedia synopsis, but I did not inhale, just for the record. Hate this. Let's, let's get some levels. What do you get on level two? You trigger on sell. Okay. Okay. I think there's a case to be made for me playing a little too fast. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> one more time. At least one more time appears to be the answer. Sheep me. Now we're cooking. You might as well go position one. Who cares? And where do we go from here? I actually think the flamingo ends up being surprisingly useful more often than you'd think. And we could just maybe early on survive and then stack stats on units. I'm literally describing how the game works now. Put stats on units so they defeat other units in combat. I never really considered it that way, but that's a tempting, it's a tempting strategy. I guess what I'm trying to say is that maybe this week, survive the mid game with as much HP as possible to give you the chance to really pivot into the good tier three, four and five units. Okay, I'm just getting my you-know-what kicked early on. I got two life left, zero wins. Bad start, um, without a doubt. On the other hand, we almost have a level three frog. <laughs> Which is not normally the kind... You know what? Just lose one more so we go up against people who are as bad as I am. Mm, mission accomplished. Okay, so you fell right into my trap. That's got to be embarrassing for you. And now we rattle off 10 straight real quick. It's simple. Pill me. Now you're going to hard swap every turn. We want you. I don't really want to hard swap anything off the bison. The silk moth is probably not long for this world, so let's put their stats on the bat. I'm talking as if we're not going to lose this next round, because I, we need to tell ourselves comforting lies in life to maintain some sanity in this crazy mixed up world. There we go. Sure, sheep me. OK, 
Okay, this one, you got to be a little cautious on this one. It's there, in principle, there's an interesting idea. I don't know if it's good. But you could use the bison, especially if it levels up so it scales faster, to transfer a decent amount of stats onto a great unit that starts with low stats, like a walrus, for example. And then the bison can rebuild itself. Right now, I don't know if it's worth swapping a 4-7 hippo to a 5-6. This seems kind of like a bit of a wash to me. I think we might be better off swapping nothing. And then maybe leaving a hippo in position 3 where it can hopefully feast. But if we get this bison to level 2... There might be something cooking there. No, no, no. Come on. Come to pass. Come to pass. Yes! <laughs> the, the sacred text. The prophecy. Nah. Yeah? Five, eight, seven, nine. Was this a mathematics joke? Five, eight, seven, nine. We, we do like, I'm going to put you at the front, you here. We're going to leave the hippo in position three. The hippo's scaling a little bit. The hippo is weak. The hippo is as strong as it needs to be, brother. The names, <laughs> it's getting too much. You better be 14 years old if you're a grown person. With that name, you got to question your own, where you've... The, the steps you've taken have led you to a very cursed destination in life. It's like traveling to Tokyo, Japan, and then finding yourself at a Yoshinoya. Okay, you got lots of other options. I'm not insulting Yoshinoya. It's a perfectly cromulent beef bowl, but you got plenty of other options out there, okay? You can go to a Yoshinoya in, like, Redondo Beach. Not interested. Interested in a level? In a tiger? Sorry to you. That's more important. You're kind of tempting too. You're going to hard swap stats again. I don't think the hard swap matters. I'm, I'm perfectly content with the hard swap again. Not a, not a big deal either way. Basically, it's an equivalent exchange. Hey, don't screw me on this one. Yes! <laughs> what did I say? What did I tell you? 10 piece? 10 piece incoming? What did I tell you? What did I say? You need to swap. You know what? I think you, you've got to go and you've got to go position one. We should have done it better earlier, but this, this is fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a big hippo in position three, bro. Oh, no. That's a big hippo in position one. No! <laughs> we got beaten by somebody with a South Park reference as their name. What's crazy is that they must be like 38. They got shooters everywhere. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll be back. I'll see you next time. Later.